How's it going everyone? Welcome back on the journey to 100 million. I know it's been a while since we had our last episode, but yeah, I wanted to wait until we had a much better quality for the uh, episodes. And so here we go. We are rolling back in. So I'm going to go ahead and jump right into it. So in the last of the our episodes, we fin finished off at right around 60 million is what you were supposed to be at. In this episode, guys, we're going to be able to finish all the way to 100 million. So I know you guys have been waiting for quite a while. And instead of stringing it out a little bit longer, I'm going to go ahead and finish off everything in this one last episode. That way to number one, keep the series kind of short and allow you guys to really get into it and then also be able to pack quite a bit into this one episode to make this one episode pretty awesome for you guys. So here we go. We're going to jump right into it. So as you see right now, this this uh, is our first of the money making methods in this video. We're going to have a several different small money making methods in this video that you guys can feel free to use to finish your goal of 60 to 100 million, assuming that you've been following along for the entire series. If you've not, don't worry, you can just jump in right now too and then uh, use up the rest of the, you know, you, you, you can really do all these things in whatever order you want to, but um, ideally you would start off at episode one, that way you can build on it. So right here I'm doing um, the clay mining. So clay mining is actually a really great way to make some extra money if you are a, a mid-level player. Um, and, and there are some requirements for this one too. So if you don't have the requirements for this one, just feel free to skip. Um, I have heard from a, you know from a few people that they weren't able to do some of the other methods. Um, the truth is, guys, if, if, if you guys if you guys have skills that are just really, really low, your very first start to trying to get 100 million is going to be to train up some of those skills. And I'm talking I'm talk about the skills that don't really require much money. Um, there are, you know, if you let's say you have level 50 mining, then it might be a good idea to go ahead and uh, you know train up that for free and just work on your skills overall is going to is going to give you the ability to make more money in the long run so um and it, it, yeah so that's, that's kind of how it goes with uh, some of the people that were having issues with some of the other methods too or maybe you're having issues with some of this stuff it might just be time for you guys just to actually do a little bit of skill grinding but for the people who do have the ability to do some of these methods just go ahead and feel free to pick whichever one you're going to be able to do so this one right here is going to require the prif um unlocked um so that is going to be a, a high a high requirement for some players um, but if you don't have prif unlock just like I said feel free to do one of the other ones with this one right here guys you're gonna be coming here during ithel hour you want to wait until the boss is at ithel hour now the reason why you want to do ithel hour is because the uh, soft clay rocks do not deplete which means you can just sit here literally and grind on this rock um, you can afk for um, a decent amount of time really depending on your porter um, so what you're going to want to bring here guys is going to be a porter I recommend using the highest porter that you have if you don't have any porters you can either make the porters or you can also get them for free by pickpocketing the Amlod elves I do realize also that the Amlod elves pickpocketing does require a rather high level of thieving but if you don't have that you can always just make your own porters or get them from divine sims um, so the uh, the divine sim uh, is a uh, daily divine thing you can do where you just train your divinity on those uh, and you can get porters that way as well but pretty much what you're gonna be doing here guys is sitting here on these rocks and just grinding them uh, keep on uh, replacing the sign of porter when it goes out uh, you're also gonna want to wear at least a Varrock one or higher as you can see I haven't really done much tasks for Varrock so I still have Varrock one but this actually does work just fine and it will give you the chance to get extra ores um, which also count for the clay so these will be automatically sent to your bank as of right now the price of soft clay is sitting at 625 each as you can see right up here in the top left of the screen the gp per hour it says 1.3 something it's it's just under 1.4 million per hour if i was super focused and paying attention you can get 1.4 million gold per hour doing this this is actually nearly doubled um in profit when you act when you wear this so this right here is the bracelet of clay if you equip the bracelet of clay and then start going back at it the bracelet of clay will allow you to get two times the exp because it because it allows you to mine two times the clay now you see my gp per hour start to rock it up there right there and uh very quickly here let's see one two there we go we're above 1.4 million and it just continues to rise if you just put a bunch of these bracelet of clay in your inventory along with your sign of the porters um, then you're going to be able to get double clay which is going to make the gp per hour go up very 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 significantly uh, you can pretty much get two times the gp per hour I would say if you're using the bracelet of clay along with the sign of the porters, uh, your Varrock armor and everything, then you can expect to get 2.5 to 3 million gold per hour by doing this. And uh, the clay itself does not really require much of a level. Also, it's not really important to use any kind of mining boosting equipment because you have a 100% chance of mining this. So it allows you to wear whatever else you really want to while you're doing this. You don't really have to have the golem suit or anything special. 
Um, it's a great way to level up a um, an augmented uh, item too. Well, I guess not really great way. It only actually gives you about one exp uh, to your item per uh, per rock or something, or maybe a little bit less. So not really great for that, but it will it will slowly level up some things. So if you're going to be doing this for a very long time, you might get some levels. Um, something else to keep in mind too, guys. If you have the bonus from the uh, falling star, then you are going to be able to uh, mine some extra clay that way, and that can allow you to mine up the three clay at a time. One more last option that you could do here is by using a perfect plus potion or the juju mining or juju uh, perfect mining potions. Um, although I personally don't really prefer using those because what they will do is they will actually turn some of the clay that you send to your bank into other things that might be less expensive than the clay itself because the clay is actually worth quite a bit of money. Um, and so with that in mind, it's actually kind of better to not use the juju potions at most times. Just really honestly, you can test both and you can figure out which one you'll do the most. If you're using the juju potions or the perfect potion, um, then you will be able to AFK this a little bit more um, because the fact that it will act as a sign of Porter and put the stuff in your bank and I understand that's a little bit more convenient but the only problem is that it will tend to send some things back to your bank that are not quite as expensive so really just do your uh, price comparisons one last thing with this method also guys is the soft clay itself um, can be sold overnight or, or honestly throughout the day at a higher price than what the GE says so just despite the fact that GE mid is 625 if you save yourself up you know like a few thousand of these clay which is very easy for you to collect up actually if you've done the math already you'll realize you get almost 5,000 clays per hour here which is pretty crazy um, if you use all the boosts so and uh, you know if you save up yourself like 20 or 30,000 clays then what you can do is just put them in the GE for sale at a um, a higher price um, than what you normally would so just just because it says 625 you could try something like 799 and uh, who knows they might sell and if they do you'll make a significantly large uh, profit well, for significantly larger profit, sorry, um, by doing this method. So I really encourage that. So we're going to go ahead and jump on to the next method here, guys. So uh, see you guys in the next screen. How's it going, everybody? All right. So we're on to the next method here. And as you can see, I am in the Falador Garden. So in this method right here, this is a method where sometimes it's working really well. Other times it's not working the greatest. So I really encourage you to check your prices before you bother doing this, because if you go and do this and then you're like, hey, wait a minute, these prices don't make any sense. Then uh, just remember, Fat Snorlax told you so. <laughs> OK, so over here, guys, you see the uh, the gardener. Uh, he's the exchange seeds person. That's not the person you want, actually. You're going to want the garden supplier. So the garden supplier right here, you right click on the garden supplier and then go over and trade this person. So once again, remember, this is right here in Falador Park. Um, the bank is right here to the, to the south of me. Uh, what you're going to want to do, guys, is uh, right click on the bagged plant one. On the bag plant one just go ahead and buy all these bag plant one and then you're going to run them to the bank now uh what i'm going to show you here is if i can unlock my screen so i can move this around uh i'm actually going to show you guys how you can uh, make some money here so by just simply buying those uh this is going to take you a little bit of time um and you can use a familiar whatever familiar you have unlocked is going to work out great if you have a pack yak that's going to be really good if you have a pack mammoth that's going to be the best um I don't recommend using uh, a magic note papers on this and I also don't recommend using winter storage scroll to bank these and you'll see why and hey look over here guys you finished selling staff of Sliske <laughs> cool and if you look up right here I finished buying staff of Sliske look at that look at that quick flip all right <laughs> sorry I got a little uh, dis uh, you know thrown off the trail there when I was like profit okay so looking at bag plants one though back to what we were talking about if you look right here um, we bought these for 1000 each if you look at the price in here though they go for 1347 each so after you go and buy 1000 of them you'll make 347,000 gold which is not too bad um, due to the fact there's not really any kind of requirements for this except for you to have a million gold so that way you can go and buy a thousand of them Keep in mind, guys, the, uh, the the GE mid price of these is going to constantly change, kind of like I mentioned in the beginning, where this can sometimes be good, like right now it's not too bad, um, and other times it can be actually way better, um, because sometimes these uh, bag plants will actually sell for about 2000 in the Grand Exchange, every once in a blue moon even higher than that, which means that you could be making over a million gold from doing this run. Um, now, the thing I would recommend doing is when you go to the Grand Exchange, kind of like how I told you guys with the uh, soft clay, and you should really just get into a habit of doing this if uh, to be honest with you guys if you guys want to be multi-billionaires sometimes in, uh, sometime in the future and you totally can do that you know don't don't think that you can't you cannot accomplish that you definitely can um 
If you want to be a multi-billionaire on RuneScape, one thing you should get into a habit of doing is selling stuff for the most you can possibly sell it for, which means that when you go to the Grand Exchange, instantly buy one of these bagged plants to see how much they are going for. When you instantly buy the bagged plant, it'll give you a price. When you put yours in for sale, stick them in for that price. That way you're going to get the most money you possibly can get out of it, and that's the way to go. Something I would recommend though, and this is kind of a cool trick that not a whole lot of people actually know about this trick, but it's a trick that I constantly use and I constantly make some extra money doing it. Um, what you can do is you can take these, uh, let, let's say for example the bag plants right now are going for, thir for $13.47. Let's say you instantly buy and it comes back at 1200 um, What you can do, and I highly encourage you to try doing this, is to just try to sell them at mid then. Um, despite the fact that they instantly bought at 1200 and you're thinking, okay, I'm, I guess I have to sell them at 1200 the prices fluctuate quite frequently. And when an item is like this right here and it's a supply, and there's not that many of these in the in the grand exchange at one time, you know, because it's not ever not everybody goes and you know actually picks up these bag plants from the seller. Um, so the chances are the person who's selling them that low will actually sell out, and then you can sell these at mid or something around that. So maybe let them sit for an hour and see if they sell. If they don't sell, then maybe adjust your price at that point. But hey, there's you know, there's nothing wrong with waiting an extra hour for possible um, uh, quite a bit more profit on that one. All right, guys, we're going to be hopping on to the next thing. I'll see you guys in a few minutes. All right, guys, so now we're going to be hitting up on the third money-making method in this video. Now, keep in mind, some of these money-making me methods, uh, I'm, I am kind of going like, um, uh, kind of like uh, skimming through it. So I might make some of these a little bit more in-depth if you guys are interested in a much more in-depth version of these um, then I can do that. So just put that in the comments below if you guys would like to request a more in-depth thing, and I'll, I'll make them like standalone videos. So right here, um, this is going to be on uh, the Jadink or whatever this place is called. <laughs> I can't remember the name of this island. It is Jatizo, 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 however you say it. It's Anyway, it's one of the Fremenic Isles, so you're going to have to have some of the Fremenic quests done. I'm pretty sure you actually have to have all the Fremenic quests done in order to do this part. So this is going to be a little bit uh, more requirements than the last method. Um, so this is kind of like someone who doesn't quite have the Prif method, but has you know some things done, then you're, you will be able to access this right here. So... I do highly recommend getting these quest, this quest line done if you don't have it done. It's a fairly simple and a quick uh, quest line to do and does have some pretty beneficial things uh, along with it. So right here, what you're going to be doing is you're going to be going to this shop right here at uh, Van Liga. So uh, Van Liga here is going to sell you some stuff. You're going to open shop on her and you will see right here that you can buy these yak hides. So yak hides right here you're able to buy for 50 gold a piece and you look in your inventory uh, looking at right here, you can see that yak hides do go for 500 each, basically. So um, these are going to be considerably more expensive in the Grand Exchange than they are in the store, which is very nice. So uh, now, typically, what um, you know, th this method right here is not something brand brand new. Um, you can definitely find. Uh, uh, sources of this method, uh, you know, on other parts of YouTube and stuff like that. So I'm going to show you some guys, some stuff that you can't find in the, on the other parts of YouTube, and uh, you know, gives you reason to watch my channel and my stuff because it's better. <laughs> All right, so um, here's a, here's a starter thing. The very first thing is, you know, obviously you run over here to the bank, uh, and then you run back over here uh, to Van Liga, and you go get some more yak hides. So one starter thing here is if you buy these yak hides and you run back over this way, what you're going to want to do is put surge on some form of a key bind. Um, I have a mouse that has three different click buttons. So, and, uh, you know, I have like the RPG mouse that has a whole bunch of different buttons, you know, for, uh, uh, for uh, key binding, but then also has like the three clicks. So what I do is I have my left click, I have my right click, and then I've got my far right click, and then I, I usually put surge on that. It makes it very easy to use surge. If you have a mouse that has three different clicks, I would highly recommend you do that for surge. So what you can do, guys, is when you're coming out of this door right here, you can uh, basically hit this spot right here. Your character will, will actually walk here along this path, and then what you can do is you can use surge right here and get all the way almost to the bank door. That's going to save you a bit of time. Uh, make this a little bit quicker. Now, um, now what I was talking about. Now you're, you're probably thinking, "Oh, man, it's you gaming. Come on, really? You think that's enough to make this better than everybody else's video?" Okay, okay, you're right. You're right. Maybe that's not enough to make it stand out. So I'll go ahead and give you guys a little bit more. <laughs> so if you stand right here and you look at this corner, so basically you've got the banker right here. So when you're standing right here at the banker, you're talking to the banker. You look right here, so it's basically one sidestep click. And then when you hit surge, guys, boom, you surge all the way back to Van Liga. 
So <laughs> it's pretty mind blowing, I'll be honest. When I discovered this, I was like, you've got to be kidding me. So you can literally do that. Um, and then you can just run back. Now you'll notice that my surge is already ready to go again. Uh, really depends on how fast you do this, but your surge could be ready to go again in order for you to hit this spot on the way back. So on the way back, you're like, boom. And hey, look, I actually surged all the way through the bank, so you don't really want to do that. Um, but you can also try to find a spot that'll let you surge through the wall there. Um, and it's probably right around this area right here if you're looking on the screen. So you can surge from here to the door. Um, you can probably search from over here, through the wall, and over here. And look, I sold another staff of Sliske. Haha, <laughs> look at that. I think there's only eight more of them to sell. So, hey, cool, making some progress. <laughs> um, so, but as you can see, though, guys, it does it does land me once again looking in that right direction. So I just go here and I go and I uh, bank these pack yak hides. Once again, click right here, boom, surge, all the way back to Van Liga, get some money, buy some party hats, that's what we do here. So um, right here, as you see, I am going too quick though. I'm going too quick as um, my uh, surge is not all the way ready. What I highly recommend you guys get is something like this. As you can see, I am a failure noob and I do only have Wise 2 instead of Wise 3, um, but I do have mobile on this. Um, so what you're gonna wanna do is get a, uh, a piece of equipment that has mobile on it. Um, ideally also have some form of wise on it as well um, that way that you are able to get bonus experience through the wise uh, but then you can also uh, use surge much more often so let's see surging right here does go all the way through the bank again let me see here i have i haven't actually tested the one to go back in the bank but i i know you guys are like whoa about this surge because i was totally blown away by it so let's see if we can go right here and a little bit farther out uh nope does it again I wonder if maybe we can use escape to go in. <laughs> We're gonna figure this out. This is the best part of the video, I swear. All right, so escape. Oh no, I see escape doesn't clip through the walls as much as surge does. I'm also pretty sure this has nothing to do with bug abuse. So if anyone is like, that's bug abuse, I'm pretty sure it's not because I think by now RuneScape is well known the fact that surge surges through like all kinds of stuff that it should not. Um, so anyway, guys, that right there is going to help you to, uh, bank, um, and then get these much quicker. It will save you considerable time. Uh, as you see right there, it goes very quickly back to Van Liga and yeah. So anyway, guys, that's going to be it for this video right here. Um, if you combine all three of these methods I've showed you guys into the other, uh, methods I've shown all along, along this series and just keep doing your daily scape stuff. Um, then you will easily hit that 100 million gold. Um, this whole series right here is not really about, um, you know, like a, a one-step process of making 100 million. It's honestly about combining a bunch of things to be able to become a more efficient player and then be able to get some extra cash. Once you have over a few hundred million, though, you're really probably not even going to want to do the Yak Hide thing anymore or the Falador thing anymore. But what you could do is if you have an alternate account, you can feel free to use that alternate account in order to do those things. Because, you know, uh, you know, while your main account is actually, you know, getting some experience doing some things, then you can train on the alternate account and not still trying to make that bank happen. It's just not happening. Um, so, uh, yeah, there's, you know, the, the, hopefully this series did help you guys out. I have had quite a few people say that uh, it has helped them out and everything. Feel free to join our Discord, guys. It's in the link below. It is open and available for use. So you can feel free to do that. Uh, once you hit over 150 to 200 million, you can feel free to check out the Billionaire Flip Club in the Discord and the Patreon if you want to down below. Um, it is one of the higher donation tiers, so it's not for everybody, obviously. But the people in there do earn an average of 25 to 50 million gold per day, uh, as long as they do have like 150 to 200 million and above. If you're a person that has max cash or close to max cash, then you can expect to earn close to 100 million per day or maybe over 100 million per day if you have a lot of play time so lots of stuff to check out in there but anyway guys thank you so much for being uh supporters of the channel thank you everyone who is a patreon member and supports the channel you guys make it possible and remember whenever you think that there's a wall in your way like this you surge through it and buy some yak hides all right guys Check you all later. Be sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't, and I'll show you guys more blasting through walls with surges and stuff if I can find them, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good one.